Okay. That's it. Okay. Let's check now the map. Aha! Hello, guys. Hello, Abezide. What, what, what? It was a restart? Yeah, Chris called the Let restart. Let me come back fast. Go, Whoa. go, go. They just launch already. You can come back. They just start 20 seconds. No problem. But I, I am now, I'm back. Now, Ooh. yeah, man. Look at map for both, but for Chris. Ah, it's, it started already? I yeah. have to rejoin. Fuck. It started okay. already, yes. So, gold forward, yes, but he has now one gold, stone at the back, two, and three golds at the <coughs> back. I'm telling you, that's a paradise map for Chris. Miguel, he has gold at the back, berries, stone, stone, and another gold. A nice map as well, but two extra more gold for Chris. So for Chris, yeah, man, I see. In total, he has four, man, four. And the two main relics, gold, one, yeah, two relics in his base. If not inside, you can consider that that is in his base, right? Actually, actually three. Uh, on Chris, no, two relics. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Those two are are, are in between, between them. Both, I, I yes. thought, I thought one. It's closer but being outside uh, it's, it's almost not the decided same. yeah it's almost it's the not same. decided he true, has true. also boars inside deers inside if now miguel is calling a restart chris will say no <laughs> because he has a pretty nice map but but miguel is not so, going to call it because he can so see he also will do so he will do the the no like darth vader right yeah no <laughs> <laughs> no, but but uh, if he explore properly, because Miguel still has to explore properly, he will see also the second goal at the back as well. Yeah, he has a nice map also, really, and he cannot see what what Chris has there. So, but you know, yeah, man, he cannot see. Like I said, <clears throat> God is a yeah. is a good choice, but it's also risky because you can pick between golds, gods, Celts, Britons, and Franks. So I think the safer choice is Kells. Really? So you mean you mean Chris, right? I mean going for gods you Yeah, 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 no, but I mean say, overall right? to, in this third map between those civilizations that they can also pick between uh, Britons and uh, and Franks, I think uh, Okay. Kells is the stronger probably because with the other civilizations probably Kelts doesn't have a real counter. Well, if you okay. pick Britons, you can get, for example, if you get also against uh, against um, gods, it's risky. You you can win also with Britons, but it's risky, you know. If you go guys for gods, also Kelts will kill gods, and really Franks with the Axemans, it can be also good against against gods. But Franks also is is worse in my opinion than Britons, also worse than Kelts. So really, Kelts. I think it's the be the best choice, but say that might be might be the best counter, yeah. Yeah, say that that is just my opinion. Uh, the execution, how you are going to play, is also really important, really really yep. important. Because Bruce in the previous game was telling Miguel, "We'll yeah. go for mini boom, we'll go paralysis, and we'll kill all." But actually, he didn't go that, and he didn't make make sorry a great push because it wasn't a great push. It was a bit slow. Well, he wanted to. To, to do that man but Chris was faster and and stronger yeah because he went for cavalry I mean he wanted probably that was his plan like remember when he was playing uh, also master of arena I forgot against who and he went versus Brits also full paladins remember that one and uh, no, no matter that uh, the other guy went a few helps he didn't have enough and was Miguel was against fire yeah Ah, okay, and Miguel kept pumping, pumping, but he won the game, eh? Yeah, and against uh, other players... But it wasn't the case here. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember who was that. He won <laughs> Hans versus God. <laughs> really strong. Okay. Really. I think versus Ovenka. That was a great series also. Well, a lot of games we have seen in this tournament already. Very, very nice. I have seen also some message from Nikov, the Argentinian player in, in LZ Zone, that he said, I never thought that an arena 1v1 Mayans could be exciting and you know about what game he was meaning right the game we saw I yesterday. think I think Viper versus Juan exactly he was telling that man he thought that 1v1 Mayans is like boring but depend how you play and like happened yesterday man so it, it I guess your question man, man what do you give me as a prize 
you can stay here. What prize, man? What prize? You, you, you're, you're an ass, man. Well, you said yesterday that there was going to be clear win from the Viper. And basically, it was a win from the Viper, but not a clear win from the Viper. It even was... Viper was... No, even Viper was surprised. Yeah. And, 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 and he said after, like Juan also uh, re recognized his mistake after. If he was continue to go with elite eagles, he was he winning take, the game, man. He will take the yeah. game, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, right now, we can see the start from Chris and Miguel. Almost almost similar, because 26 seconds with one population more is like a good start for both. And I like what what Miguel is doing. Nice. Barak, so he's going to go aggressive. There you go. Barak and stable, so he will probably go for Siege and try to, to push. While Chris is already mining two players on stone and not yet on the gold, he's going to add now on gold. Yes, no looms. So Do you he think will... he will go? Do you think he will, he will go aggressive or he wants to, to secure actually uh, those uh, relics? Miguel? Yeah. We'll go aggressive. Okay. We'll go aggressive. Thank okay, you for okay. the following. Scalp. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, wait. You, you're following me. Yeah, anyway, thanks. You follow my channel? No, I said also thanks that for that guy is now following your channel. Ah, but, but you follow <laughs> my channel, right? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Do I? Can you check? <laughs> of course, I follow your channel. If you now unfollow, unfollow to trick me, I, I, I will kill you, man. Okay? <laughs> you can you can check any time. Nah, it's fine. I'm kidding. A stable man, Barak stable and Chris will go market and plasmid and again, well Chris, this Up is the third Castle game, H, this is the third game, in all the games, now for one second, Chris he has been this, in right? Castle Age in Whoa. 14 minutes, Whoa, okay. in all the three games, oh, but he's pushing man, I mean, he's not going for mini boom, look at the amount of villagers on a stone by Chris, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 villagers yeah. on a stone? Yeah. And not even a single one on goal? Oh my god. So he will go? So he will go? Or uh, super aggressive? Super which, aggressive or super defensive? Because you can use... Which is the... kind of... Mm, okay. No, no, you cannot go super aggressive if you are not mining goal. So... That castle might be just a defensive one and then boom. But Man, where to he, he already He already has 500 stone. And he's a bit halfway uh, over, halfway to cast little, so he will have more than for a ca or he will do like you said a defensive castle and also to have oh, stone oh, 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 for oh. for a mini no, boom. No 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 no. He's going aggressive castle. He's going Whoa. aggressive castle because he has the this, loom. He has the loom. So he's me, going yeah. to go aggressive. Yeah yeah. But this surprised me really. This can be a disaster. You know why? Because he's doing a scout. So if he's sending the scout. He can be, this can be a disaster automatically, but now, maybe Chris will go away, Risky, go man. away, go away, go away, go away, go away, oh my god, he didn't go away, and now Chris is going back with the Billy years, this is, oh, this can make fail him strategy, I'm now. surprised, I'm surprised that he, remember what I said in the start, even if he's going aggressive, probably he will build a castle in his base, and from there, will go with the push, well, he wanted to go, like you said, but it's risky, man. It but was risky, no. and he lost a few good seconds. Well, more than a few good seconds, and also now his economy is is a mess right now because he yep. lost a lot mining with a lot of villages on a stone. I agree. Yeah, that I now agree. He's, he's going for the goal. He doesn't have any gold, so he cannot go for the relics. While Miguel now is with the monastery and the stable, oh, adding oh, a oh. second TC, a third TC. <laughs> Oh my! Well, if you're going for this kind of, of push, really, why you don't make a barrack with the god? Couple of spears to be completely safe, you know? I don't True. know. True. Okay, he's gonna I mean, make now you, 30 C. I well, mean, like you said, if you plan something like this, uh, do some, some, some spears just in case your enemy has something to chase them away, right? Well, the thing is that like he's a really strong player, he just wasn't stubborn, which is very good, because some other maybe 
will move the village to other side, try to keep going with this with the strategy, and then if the if the scouts find those villages, GG. He went back and now yeah, he yeah, has yeah. three tone centers as well. Like uh, like Miguel. Well, he's doing the third. So he is still with three villages. Well, not not it's the same amount of villages, yeah. And now doing the farms. Well, actually, I think this this would be a better strategy. Go for mini boom. You can see his stone. He's still really close to have the the stone for the castle, and then make a castle. Like you said, go for for aggressive huge calls. You know. Yeah. I thought really. I thought that's he do that. what he what he will do exactly. Yeah. Okay. But he's letting. He ahead. could build. Man, he could build the castle uh, where his gate are in that corner, for example. Because he would build it pretty fast with the amount of villager he had, right? And from from there to to continue the, the push. I thought he's gonna do that or build the castle where he built the the town center to protect the gold. The problem Either now corners, is left or right. Yeah? The problem now is what we said that they have uh, both a good booming coming. You can see the same yeah. amount of villagers, but now the advantage of of the Celts is there because mm, for now they are just booming, you know. Save game, Miguel is not pushing like I expect. No, he is pushing. Siege works up incoming. Siege works up incoming now with three tone centers, so he can also make some good night. But uh, Miguel has, yeah, he has some good resources. And Chris is going to make the castle where? Here on that corner, close to the gold tone center or on the right side avoiding you would make it side. there to to put the gold or in the other corner to the left or to the right where would actually, you build it man actually he has three goals at the back i will protect the the two tone centers uh, at the back really okay 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 but he's gonna make on the goal i think what i will do here where where he's mining the stone maybe you, you have gold at the back, you want to protect the raiding. Imagine that if you if you make the, the castle there, he can go around and get inside. And I think he's going to do... Oh my god. Is he going to make it there or he's going forward? What is he going to do? Let's see. House, where is he going to make it? Come on. Fourth relic picked now by Miguel, man. Yeah, man, he, he let him to get that relic there. Okay. He's gonna make there on that corner. What are you doing, Mr. Chris? He's gonna do there? Yes. Well, he's, he's doing in the gold, but actually he has also 200 more stone. So he could make the castle faster, but now... And the fifth ready now, for me, oh, He also picked oh, that one on the right. He's gonna lose some more bullets. Wow. He's now in whoa, danger, whoa, whoa, man. If whoa, he's going whoa, around... Whoa. If he's going around with the mangonel, he can lose the villiers, man! He can lose the villiers! This is going to be painful, in my opinion! Another it is already. Now. It is already painful. No, it can be. It is already painful. He is now with Chris better booming coming temple. On, well, he's now going to make the castle. He's now going to kill the mangonels. Kill, 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 kill. Is he gonna kill him? <laughs> Look at no. man. Kill, 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 kill. He's not killing him. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> eight villages behind. Well, the thing is, if we consider that Kelts is better in Imperial, I really think that the advantage now is even bigger, man, because he's going to be even faster in Imperial. So Miguel is getting this game, man. Look at his economy now. He's about to yep. go up. Well, hand card. You you know that with the gods you can Whoa. spam units so fast, but really. Yeah, but wood those raiders, wood man. raiders are amazing to to destroy the Huskers. We really fast unit, much stronger than Huskers. And also the so, champions. So and also the the, the champions. Through that, do you think that actually uh, uh, Chris will try to go for standard infantry? I think uh, Chris won't have time to do anything. No, he's going Huskers, man. I mean, with with the time that he has, yeah, he doesn't have enough time to build more barracks, to research all those upgrades for the champions and so on. Well, yeah, he's going he's huge. Behind. He has 40 C's, Miguel, four tone centers, while Chris, one, two, and three. So the booming coming from, from Miguel is way better. He has 40 C's and he is 
on the way to Imperial, halfway to Imperial. Now he's doing a castle. He has all the relics. I mean, if Miguel is losing this game, I don't know what to say because he has a very good advantage right now. Really? Yeah, okay. he has. He has good advantage. Important well, advantage. Chris is on the way to Imperial. He used the market yeah. and he's <clears> on the way to Imperial. This is the thing, the gods are really fast. Maybe he will need to add some hand cannoneers, but hand cannoneers need also chemistry, armor upgrades, and time. Because the chemistry is not like like the perfusion and the anarchy that you are going to go super, super aggressive. Well, he's doing the yep. barracks. He's doing the barracks and he, he keep going. Seven bullies difference, I agree. I don't know if he will need to make more boom, more TCs or something. He keep going with the boom incoming. You can see, guys, on all the town centers, he keep the production with the village. But Miguel as well. Okay, let's see. Let's hope that this is gonna be a strong, a strong game. But I'm not so convinced right now. It seems for me that that really he is behind. You don't see that in. Well, you, you can also see the population is is there uh, some difference? Seventeen population, more army and a more second villagers. castle now for for Miguel. Well, close to the first one. Raiders. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, he already has eight wood raiders inside that castle. Of Enough course, to to counter. Yeah, he's going go, go. in standard infantry. I mean, there is no no point to go okay. huge cults against uh, against the cults. Yep. Chain mail armor, cap brands. Well, Miguel is doing now the played mail armor because he's already in Imperial. Well, the numbers of he military is, not gonna matter so much for now because if he's doing now the perfusion, you will get army instantly. But the problem from Chris is Katsuni, what is his problem? Look, his resources. He yep. is really at the limit. Yep, he is, he is. But uh, luckily for him, Gods, we know that. Yeah. And cheaper. The infantry, cheaper. yeah, they, they are cheaper, man. And on top of that, three more gold mines there in the back, like you said. And, uh, and well, he has explorer, right? Yes, perfect yep, exploration. Yeah, yeah, he has, he has. Both yep. has good exploration. Difference in the population is not that big now, but 16 more villagers. Villagers. Is he doing conscription first? 200 swordsman, iron casting, let's see the micro also, with the raiders and some scorpions incoming, third castle. Exactly, Ooh. if Miguel will be able to, to research heavy scorpions and mass 15, 20, it's gonna be difficult for, for Chris. Well, he's doing something good, he don't want to get Miguel yeah, super yeah. strong. Because if he's going now, the Wood Raiders are strong, but they are not elite Wood Raiders. And he doesn't have like that crazy amount of army. And he's going now to kill those mangonels, those scorpions. True, true. This is a good choice, very good choice. But like you said, Miguel, heavy scorpions right now. This is a good attack from from, uh, from Chris, really. He should try to focus a bit more with the micro because I think that wasn't the best micro. And it wasn't. And like we are talking, look how Miguel with those not elite wood raiders he has killed all already all already but the army i mean the fast production from chris well no did he make the perfusion i think he didn't no, not yet he didn't so no 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 whoa. not yet oh man and now only now researching squires okay oh look at the difference in the population man he's there man he's 30 30 villagers 30 man. villagers man. 30 wow to village in this kind of battle oh. is, is a lot, man. And and guys, two relics. Well, the two relics maybe is not that important for now because he has a lot of gold at the back, so it might be okay. Yeah. But now, plus for Nancy, okay, it's gonna be completely upgrade. Those 200 swordsmen only missing the champion upgrade, but Chris is at the at the really limit, man. At the real limit, we can check 41 farmers, 29 lumberers, 18 gold miners, five stone miners, while while Miguel, 49 farmers, 46 Lumberjacks. Well, actually, farmers is almost the same, but Lumberjacks a lot more. And gold miners, 21. He's going with the traps. He need to make, whoa, Elite Wood Raiders. And he overchop. Well, he's open also. Man, Elite Wood Raiders, let's see, man. He's gonna kill everything, man. I have the feeling he's going to kill absolutely everything. Or I might be wrong. Whoa. That micro now, it wasn't the best? Look at that micro <laughs> from Miguel, what he did there, man! He didn't kill a single unit? I won't no, play... No, he did, but 
Oh, no, yes, no, man. <laughs> Kilo, I won't play lottery in the next two months, man. Look at this. <laughs> what, what, what is going on, Katsuni? What, what Micro did there, man? He lost all, man. Without champion? Against the Elite yep. Raiders? It's, it's GG, man. No, I mean, it's not GG, but... No, no it's not, it's not. For sure it's not. But he lost, now with the Scorpions, he lost, he lost everything, man. <laughs> no, he, he lost important army also. I mean, Miguel lost important number Yeah, but still, army. man, you need to do more, Mr. Chris. Really, you need more villagers. Well, he has yep. now 100 over 100. And it's gonna be champions in few seconds. Okay. Champions already. There you go. The okay, now he has a little bit more Scorpions, but still not enough, man. Like I said, you you need like 15, 20 mass and then you are okay-ish, you know, Yeah, okay because the scorpions, the scorpions also, they die fast, but no man, look at now, look at now. Look yep. at now with the scorpions. He might need yep. to maybe bomb, oh my god, and those scorpions with full of Celtic, yeah? And what? Blast Furnace, I mean, for, yeah, for, for more attack for his... Uh, Elite Wood Raiders, yeah. Chris, Chris if he's need, making also chemistry, yeah. Chris no, need no. there some Bombard Cannons also, try to, trying to counter the traps, the heavy Scorpions. Yep. With with the production with the Champions, he can be fine against the Wood Raiders, he can be okay. But really, seems he's at the very limit. Yeah, that's the problem, man. Okay, let, now, Kevich at War. The Champions are there, but... Yeah, man, those scorpions, man, those scorpions, whoa, with his economy, no chance, I mean, I agree with some viewers, if he will have better economy, way better economy, maybe he could do something, but now, look at the scorpions, look at the scorpions, how are doing the job, but he's sending no, some, no, 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 no. farming, let's see, no good, it's, it's now a lot of, a lot of them, so, Miguel sh should have waited, no, man, nah, this is the GG, they are, they are now damn strong, man, Look how strong they are, 75 HP, man. Those are... Yep. And GG, man, it's... Wow. Well, another civilization win, in my opinion. Well, actually, he, he got... I mean, the strategy he wanted to do, he, he, got, he was denied because of the scouts, man. You know? Against infantry spamming, you know, Civ, uh, being killed, going yeah. heavy scorp, it's... it's, 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 it's oh. Yeah, you, you, you just destroy them, really. Yeah, well, really, really strong. You can see double the military kills, more, yeah, economy, more food, more wood, <coughs> more stone. And look at the goal over 4,000, no, almost 4,000, sorry, over 3,400, yeah. Villagers way more and almost 3,000 gold for the relics. Villagers. Which I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, Tatito. Tatito hosting <laughs> the channel. Look at this. No. Yes. Because I put a, a, a host alert to to the channel. So when people is hosting me, it's also showing there in the stream. There no. You go. Yeah, Katsuni, stop trolling. GG, man. <laughs> this is the 214 Miguel. Okay. Maximus Membrius going super strong, guys. <laughs> GG, guys. Let's go for the next.